Hello everyone. I was recently tasked with creating a probabilistic roadmap. And I thought some of you might find this interesting or need to use some inspiration yourself. So I wanted to share my solution. If anything is wrong or not well optimized, this is my, uh, my solution. So it's definitely not well optimized, <laughs> but feel free to comment and tell me what it is. So probabilistic roadmap, the whole idea here is to it's going to be used for robot pathfinding. So if we imagine this scenario, right? We have a robot in a room, in this case Wally, -E, and he wants to get to the blue circle. And there are some obstacles in the way. In this case, it is tables. So he needs to get there. But how is he going to know where he is able to walk? Let's say he has some sensors. That could be a camera, a light sensor, a distance sensor, the color sensor for that sake. And he's going to use this in order to get through the room. Well, for him, he won't, well, he could see this table, of course, but we're going to do, go one abstraction level above. These are simply obstacles, things he needs to avoid and need to avoid hitting. So he does not want to hit the black areas in this case. With a probabilistic roadmap, we will try and map the area where he's able to walk by going through a couple of phases. And then after that, we will do some pathfinding. In this example, I'm using C++ and OpenCV. So I'm doing this with pictures instead of an actual robot. First of all, we have the construction phase. Here, I've generated 50 random points. They are uniformly random distributed. And the more points randomly distributed, the more accurate you will get. You could use something else than uniform random, but that's just the way I have done it. Then I try to connect each point to their k nearest points. Now, I actually can't remember exactly how many points <laughs> I, have, I have put here, but the idea is that not all points connect to all of them. They connect to a specific amount of closest ones. So in my code, I have, I'm finding the distance to all other nodes. Then I'm taking the closest nodes, so for example, the five closest, and I'm using the bubble sort algorithm in order to do that. And then I'm checking whether or not there's a collision between the points. So you can see everywhere that's red, that means that, for example, this point and this point, they're not able to meet each other because there's red in between them. Of course, there's an obstacle in between them. And very simply, in order to calculate the distance, I'm basically doing some vector math, cal uh, calculating the distance between two points, the magnitude. And in order to detect whether or not there's a, uh, uh, is an obstacle between these two, I'm uh, using a Bezier line or a linear Bezier curve is probably more correct to say. This is a piece of math that I've <laughs> gotten, very, gotten very interested in recently. The whole idea is that it's, it's just this, this simple line right here. Well, actually, only this part. But the idea is you have two points, as you can see right there, and you create a bunch of points in between them and all these points you check. So in this example, for example, I create 100 points in, in between each of the two samples and I check for whether or not there is a black pixel between them. The next phase, that will be the expansion phase. I have not done this, but the idea here would be that you reduce or in, uh, improve the amount of points you have. That could be, for example, by adding more points or reducing the points. But yeah, I have not done this in this case. For the qu uh, query phase, this is where you would actually do your pathfinding. I have just simply added two more points, again, connected them to the K nearest points. And then the way I have done it is that I've simply brute forced a way through so it just keeps checking in all directions until it finds a, a path that's valid. Ideally, here you would use an algorithm like A star or G star, I think it's pronounced. <laughs> but yeah, that was everything. I I hope you enjoyed it.